What is up, my brothers from another mother? We've got a request today, a sponsored video, if you will, from a guy that has a stutter and he wants to engage women out there. He wants to start dating, basically, and he's a virgin. So this is an interesting request. It's actually not that long. Before I hop into it, just a quick shout out to the channel sponsor, Tactical Soap Company, Pheromone Infused Soap. You guys are showering anyway. If you like the content that I create, please consider supporting it. The sponsor loves selling this stuff and it does work. I get a lot of positive feedback. If you check out with coupon code COOPER uh, at checkout, you'll get 10% off. So let's hop straight into this. Um, this guy is a foreign student from originally from China. Um, so he says, I'm an international student in a Canadian university and this is my second year. Originally, I'm from China. I came to Canada at high school. Throughout my life, I'm never interested in females and have no sexual or romantic feelings towards anyone. Females' physiques have no psychological influence on me. Therefore, I see dating and all social interactions for what they really are, which is what he says, meaningless and cringeworthy drama. Consequently, I've never dated anyone due to a lack of interest, so I'm still a virgin. Regardless, I don't care. It's a meaningless social construct. I'm now this this here is bizarre for me because I can't relate to it at all. Um, probably when I was about 10, 11, I don't know, like after 10 for sure. Like I even remember being young at 10 and playing kissing tag in grade two or three with the girls and wanted to chase them down and, and, and kiss them. You know, that's what boys did back then. Um, you know, you're either playing hide and go secret kissing tag during recess. Um, and it wasn't until I was a little bit older, you start seeing, you know, the feminine form in movies and things like that, where you're just like, wow, that's, that's, that's definitely attractive. So for you to say at this stage that you've never had any desire or, you know, sexual interest in women, um, if you're in your university, don't mention your age in here. I'm guessing you're in your twenties. Um, that's bizarre to me. I'd, I mean, don't take this the wrong way, but I'd almost wonder if you're gay, you know, maybe like dudes better than women. I don't know. I mean, whatever floats your boat, but let's, let's deal with the topic of this request. But that's the first piece of feedback I have on that first paragraph. Although I am curious to what female genitalia feels like, which is the only motivator for me to pretend dating someone and sponsored video for advice by women. I mean, Caucasian women, there's no point in dating Asians given where I come from and compared to the former, they look like broken goods. Um, also strange from my perspective, being a Caucasian man, because I know a lot of Caucasian men like Asian women. Uh, you're on the other side of the coin. You're Asian and you prefer Caucasian women. Um, so here's the problems. He's got three right here. This isn't a very long request. One, I don't know what to say to women in a dating context, like how to create attraction in female friends, acquaintances, how to flirt, especially when English isn't my first language and what to say on a date. I'll, I'm going to come back to that in a minute. Two, I have a stutter and depending on the time and day, it fluctuates between non-visible to stuck once or twice in one sentence, the latter being more often. Typically, I pause for one to six seconds for each onset. You mentioned in one video you had a stutter, so I'd like to know your thoughts on this. Yeah, um, on the card top right, I'll put up my uh, 21 convention talk from 2017. It's in the first 15 minutes I was talking about my stutter there. And I, th I, I may have mentioned it in a prior video. You guys may have caught on to it now because I don't do a lot of editing with my videos. I try to keep this as simple as possible for me. Um, and you'll see me not enter or edit out a lot of stutters that I've, I mean, I put out over 500 videos. So by now you've probably noticed at least something. Um, I've kind of worked it out of myself for the most part. Again, you've probably seen it from time to time, but I can't really point to any one thing that I did. I didn't, I didn't have a speech therapist. I didn't have a counselor that, that helped me through it. I remember in elementary school, I think it was about grade six or seven. I had a really hard time communicating. They put me through a little bit of speech therapy with a counselor there, but um, you know how they are with the school system. They're just not that useful. Um, I found personally myself, I found doing a lot of reading, uh, I read a lot of books in my teen years, a lot of uh, nonfiction stuff, fantasy, you know, dragons, warriors, you know, shit like that. And when I would go through the books often, if I wanted to clarify ideas or speech patterns for myself, I would just read it out loud. So sometimes I would read paragraphs um, of the book out loud. And I found that helped me communicate because sometimes when I was talking or, or trying to get an idea out, I don't know if, that would, if that's what created the stutter, if there was a bottleneck there. But certainly reading paragraphs for me helped a lot. Uh, communicating, it's just something you have to work at your systems, you know, so communicating a lot for me worked great. 
Uh, I did a lot of vocal work when I was younger, like in my teen years. Um, I, I don't really talk about the band stuff, but I did a lot of singing. Um, that that certainly helped a lot. I think there's a few mu musicians, if I'm not mistaken, that were quite successful in their careers, but also had a stutter. You might want to look that up. One of the things I did come across, and I'll put a card up for this as well for this video. I saw a video in the last few years of a kid uh, who had a really bad stutter. He couldn't, like, even if you gave him a book to read something, he couldn't even read it without stuttering uh, every second or third word even. And what they did was they put some headphones on him with music, and then they asked him to reread the paragraph again, and he did it clear as day. Uh, it's it's a very powerful video. So if you have a stutter, it'll it'll definitely tug on your heartstrings. I know it did for me. I, I probably dropped a tear or two, like a little wimp. But um, you just have to work through it. Speech and speaking events will help a lot. I found my speaking has improved. I've probably done about three, maybe four um audiences with more than 100 people and it's like it's traumatic it's it's hard to, to to get it out of your system it's hard to have that talk and i think the nervousness is a lot of fear you know false expectations appearing real that acronym fear so you just have to work through it dude you just have to push through it that's that's my take on it again i'm not a speech therapist so i'm not the best person to kind of solve this problem for you but I did suffer with it for a good part of my life until my late teens, even my early 20s. And even to this day, you guys will see it in my videos from time to time where I get stuck on something. Let's go to number three. I'm also having a hard time finding women to make friends with. School clubs and classes didn't work. Uh, there were no loners to talk to. I'm not sure why you'd have to have a loner to talk to. So um, I'm not sure what your interests are. You don't mention them in the sponsor request. You, you guys can give me some more detail. Like you want to keep it kind of compact and dense. But um, backing it up with some more ideas as far as who you are would certainly be more useful as far as what clubs you've joined, what classes you took. Um, you want to, I mean, if you want to interact more with women in university classes and clubs, they tend to gravitate more towards social causes, um, you know, things to do with nonprofits, education, the distribution of wealth, uh, gender studies, things like that. But then you're kind of leaning into like, you know, the uh, feminist agenda, and it sometimes goes toxic from there. So you might not find um, a lot of use or a lot of success in that area. I mean, you certainly won't find the most attractive ones there anyway. But uh, re like if you're in the chess club, for example, uh, you know, chess clubs don't have a lot of girls in them. You're going to have to go to where the girls are at. And you'll probably find that you'll get a lot more social interaction if you put yourself in the right room. I mean, if you want to score a goal in hockey, you got to get on the ice. So the analogy that I can use is find out where the women that you find attractive are and then go and join some of the school clubs and classes that they're in. Um, that's, that's the best way to put yourself in the environment where you have more one-on-one -on -one time. Don't look for loners. I'm not sure if you're a loner yourself and you're and you're hoping to attract a identical clone of yourself, but if you're having a hard time communicating and you've got a stutter, you've got to you've got to push yourself more into extroversion. You're gonna to have to try. I'm more of an introvert by nature, being honest here, right? Um, it's just it's just who I am. I I'm, I'm actually very okay with time alone. Um, I can spend a Friday night by myself and be easily entertained. So I get the whole introversion aspect of it, and I suspect that's probably where you're coming from, but push yourself into boundaries and into new areas. If there's women in those clubs and events that you find attractive, try them out and, and just see what that, you know, just see what that's like. As far as the setter goes, I've given you some tips there. Personality isn't an issue, he says. I identify as a dominant alpha male. I do what I want, and I don't care what people think of me. I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna call you out on, on that. Because if personality wasn't an issue for you, you would have women banging down your door. Um, women will climb mountains and through windows on second floor buildings to be with men that they really want to be with if they find you that attractive. And you haven't had women banging down your door to try to get, you, get at you. What was the sound bite you used over here? Personality is an issue. Identify as a dominant alpha male. I get that you're saying I do whatever I want and I don't care what people think of me. That's certainly an alpha characteristic, doing what you want and not caring what people think of what you're doing. But there's some but there's some disconnect there that you're not being honest with. I mean, there's something that you're not telling me that maybe you're not able to connect with that you're not getting. 
Something like this might be better for a one-on-one -on -one coaching call on clarity. Um, I, I would expect some back and forth dialogue would offer some clarification there. But I'll, I'll start to wrap it up on that note. Guys, you're watching this as well. And as part of the community, I know that a lot of people value the feedback that many of you provide in the comments. So again, he's asking uh, how to solve a stutter. If that's something that you've dealt with, leave some comments below. We've already talked about some ways to put himself in a better environment so he can get on the ice to score a goal. And as far as what to say to women in a dating context, uh, being interested in what's going on with them is usually the best way to do it, I find. So if you've got somebody that's in a, a course or a class that you have some interest in, hopefully that's what you're doing, and you start opening the conversation with like, why did you sign up for this? What did you take? Where'd you go to school? You know, just ask them questions. A good, a good sign or a good indicator that she's interested in you is that she's going to start asking you questions back. Like, well, what was it like growing up in China? You know, how did you find coming to Canada and transitioning from the Chinese educational system to the Canadian one sort of thing? Um, that's a expression of genuine interest and desire in you and who you are. So, you know, you can certainly take advantage of that. Um, again, I, you know, I really feel that this is one of those requests where some one-on-one -on -one conversation back and forth would offer a lot more advice. Uh, just because I, I, I don't have a lot of clarity on things. I'm wondering, I'm wondering if you're clear on, you know, genuine attraction to women, because that seems to be missing, you know, for me anyway, you know, from my own personal perspective and feedback, I've never found women uh, cringeworthy. I mean, women do cringeworthy things. Yeah, there's cringeworthy uh, drama that comes out of relationship. Um, but have you but have you become so robotic that you <laughs> that you find women cringeworthy in general? I don't know. You know, consequently, I've never dated due to lack of interest. So, I mean, you're looking for a what for basically a way to get on the sexual marketplace and interact with women and obviously be intimate with them. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Um, you're going to have to take a few shots on net to score a goal. You know, that's the way it's just going to have to be. You, get, you know, strap on the skates, put on your helmet and your equipment, get on the ice and start taking some shots at net. Uh, and then course correct. Most, most guys are smart enough to evaluate where they went wrong and where they didn't go wrong. Um, a good place to go for stuff like that, actually, if I'm being honest, is my men's community. There's a lot of guys that do field reports there uh, where they'll do screen captures of, um, you know, text message conversations or, or maybe some opening uh, dialogue back and forth off a dating app to find out where they went wrong. So those are always useful places to go to kind of get some feedback and help. But <sighs> tough one, dude. I'd really like to have a one-on-one -on -one call with you if you want to book one. So it's clarity.fm forward slash Richard Cooper. Got to, got to dive into a lot more questions, but um, this, is, this is kind of a broad overview. So this one's a more of an incomplete sponsored request, but I hope it offers some valuable feedback. Guys, if you've had a stutter, leave a comment below. If you've been in a situation like this gentleman has where he's come from another country uh, and joined the school ecosystem in high school and wants to be intimate with women, what did you do? I know it's, I know it's tough. I know it's tough. I mean, even, even for me, like I was, I was about 19, maybe it was like a week before my 20th birthday before I popped my cherry and lost my virginity. So I can certainly relate to being more of a late bloomer, but I always had an interest in women. I always wanted to, um, you know, I always found like, you know, feminine form and figure to be attractive. So, um, yeah, it's a, di it, this one's a different one for me, but thanks for asking. I appreciate the sponsor requests. Uh, let me minimize this. I'll just show you real quick where you can go to, uh, book these sorts of things. It's just entrepreneursandcars.com forward slash request. Uh, it's a PayPal donation, name, email address, and then it takes you to a second page where you can go ahead and, um, you know, pop your question. Thanks for uh, sponsoring today's video. See you guys in the next one.